Hi there fellow South African expats and everybody else who's interested in this kind of video. It's Maxi here and today I've got something special for all of us who miss the taste of home. You know how living abroad can sometimes make us yearn for familiar places and flavors we grew up with. That's why I decided to create this video about one of my favorite shops in South Africa, You Can Pay. Hope you enjoy. Here we are at the Pick and Pay Bakery. Just bought some one cream donut. They're baking there in the background. As Mano says, the last one. Then we're going to have a custard slice also. Over there. And some look at those beauties there. Just up above here you have the eclairs. Wow. Beautiful. <laughs> wow. Lovely bakery. Look at all this takeaway food. Right here. So deliciously presented in the pick and pay. flavors. Pork sausages, these also are very good. Perfect for a braai. Just made it to the biltong disc. Look at all these biltongs. The American viewers, Biltong is beef jerky, South African style. I'm not sure who came up with it first, but it's a very old tradition here in South Africa. Hung salted meat, spices. Delicious. We have the seafood section. Got the oysters. King clip, angel fish. Yellow tail, I can see coming up over here. Maro just found the snook. I've been telling Maro about smoke snook for years. Yeah, but it won't be a smoke snook. That's just for the braai, that snook. Look at that. Wonderful. And we have some vacuum packed fish, salmon. Not interesting for us who come from Europe. But what's interesting is the pickled fish. This is also very uniquely South African. My father wants some of those, we're going to take a tin of those home for him. Now in the wine department, everybody knows the bottles, but just want to show the Europeans. The five liter, oh are they three liters these? I think they are three liters, they used to be five liter boxes of boxed wine. The Cafe is a supermarket, big chain here in South Africa. More of the wines. Just bought the plowman's pickles. It's very good for cheddar cheese. Patty pans. Ah, patty pans. Yeah. These delicious things we don't get back home. The plowman on top of a nice. Cheese, we're gonna enjoy that with our Napoleon sweet wine we bought at Hood Constantia yesterday. Isn't that right? What do you think of pick and pay? I spent here the whole week. I spent the whole day just looking. The whole week. <laughs> Look what we found. You don't know what that is? Why they have to be so That's gem squash. The best squash you can have. Yeah. We know them from South Africa, or I know them from South Africa. We actually grew them successfully in Finland. And now we're looking to see if we can find some seeds so we can grow some more. We ran out of seeds. But they're really delicious. Here we have 
the dairy section. Dairy foods. Every time we go out of Denmark, we wonder why the other people, they can have such a selection of juices, yogurts, and we have nothing. We have nothing compared to what we do. These wonderful things, row after row of good things. We're not going to show you everything in the shop, but now we've reached the dry smashed potatoes. A cup of soups, sauces, all sorts of nice, easy, ready-made foods on the aisles. Look at the frozen food selection. It's wonderful samosas, mutton samosas, chicken samosas, pies, sausage rolls, so many choices. And we've reached the sauces, rice sauces, chutneys, etc. Definitely going to be buying some chutneys, but look at all these fry, fry ingredients, vinegars, all nice things. So here's what we came for, what every South African comes for who's living abroad. This is Ball's chutney, oh, yeah. the best chutney ever. My mother wants the hot chutney, the green lid, wasn't that she said? Yeah. I also want the green lid, it is the best one. Lovely. Do you like Mrs. Ball's? Yeah, she says like a true South African. Yeah. <laughs> now we've arrived at some of the local sauces. My favorite is the spur sauce for the chips. There's so many salad dressings and chip sauces and barbecue sauces, vinegars. Back home we have four or five of them in our shops. So wonderful to see all these delicious foods. So much to choose from. Cool, we got the beetroot. You get the idea. The rows just go on and on, endlessly right down there to the bottom. All packed. Same products, but all sorts of different kinds of versions of them. Now we've made our way to the biscuit section. We start with the tennis biscuits, also a traditional South African biscuit. Tim Tams, I think, are more Australian. They were not really a thing when I was living here. Let's see what else they have. It's made into what I was looking for. The Will's biscuits. Romany creams, also something we would always bring home with us. All sorts of Romany creams. Ginger nuts. So many choices. Looking really good. Mm -hmm. We have them. Eat some more biscuits. Also a classic South African. Lemon creams, ooh, the lemon creams. I used to love, I used to love those also. My father loves those. The lemon creams there. Then we have the five roses tea. Also typical South African. We got Joko tea. And the five roses. We all know the advert. And the fifth rose, that's for you, my love. But nobody makes better tea than you and five roses. Fish section now. Yeah, the pilchards, sardines and tomato sauce, also very South African. You know what, I'm going to stop saying very South African now, because all of this is South African foods that we're seeing here. Nice dried ones too. We've got the Knorr Riani packs, curry packs. Row after row after row of, of good things. There's a beer dog, she's down there by the magazine stand, I can see. Just bought our Easter marshmallows. Normally buy the beacon, but the box is very practical for travel. $9.99 for free beacon marshmallow. East age. Now comes the good stuff. Chocolate sweet section. 
so far it's all very international. You can see in the picture. Mint licorice. Look at all these licorice types. Even have school crit, the Danish. These licorices were non-existent when, when I lived here. You couldn't get European licorice, the salted licorice. What exactly is Maro holding there? Oh, what did I find? Look at the marshmallows. Ooh. Looking good. These were favorites, our favorites. Definitely enjoyable. Look at the end now. I think you all get the idea of all the stuff available here. It's endless. I need some razor blades now. I don't forgot to bring my razor. Helicopter right after this, and uh, we must just find some pickled fish also for my father. Fritos. 